Hello everybody, welcome to day number five of Kaiju. It's been an eventful day for me. Today we are reacting to Godzilla vs. Mothra or Godzilla vs. The Thing in America. I think this is the first full movie I'm watching in English. Believe it or not. Which, if it is, then oh my god, finally. A Godzilla movie in English. I don't know that, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Bum 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 Oh, water back here? No. No. Okay, I don't know that. Do, 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 do. Alright, alright, we're just starting with. Wait, hey! Is this it? I think this might be it, actually. Sorry. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was right here. Sorry, that's on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you, you may get caught, yeah. Uh, I, I, that, that, was, that, that, that was on me. I'm, I'm sorry. My mind's like fifty seconds. Like, what phone? I'm hoping this is in English. I don't know if this one's in English or not. Yeah, in that or Japanese can you uh give it? Ah, I just think I was joking. Uh, and I still have to get points from last Thank God that was empty. I know, right? Well, I mean, if it, if it was filled with something, it would not really those Were those large cups? Yes. Then I can tell because I only drank half of it with my dinner. Yeah, bro, like, um, a year and a half ago, that would have um, that would have been, it wouldn't have been For a second, I, I freaked out when I saw blue in the corner of my eye. Um, it wasn't, um, enough coke for me a year and a half ago, but now it's too much coke for me. Too much cocaine. What do, you, what do you get to do if you were like, get a bunch of hookers and cocaine? Have you ever seen that? No. And can we please not talk about that right now? Uh, 1964. Years. Hey, can you make me shut up? It's It's in English, thank God. Mm. Well, did you like a voiceover for Japanese? I think so, yeah. Because I know they do that. And the, I, this is the first Godzilla movie without King Kong. This, if, if it was not how Godzilla was King Kong, this is the first mm. official Godzilla movie mm. in color. Mm. And it's, so thank God for that. You know, in the office how that, uh, I forget what his name is. Michael Schott? Yeah, um, how it's like, no! God, no, please, no! Yeah, it's no! it's dubbed over in like seven different languages. <laughs> and there's an actual video of it, and people are saying the guy who was doing the French voiceover had the most passion out of anyone. Um, he is, um, that's one of the famous quotes from The Office, and other being, that's what she said. Yeah, she said. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. Indianapolis is two and a half miles. Oh, uh, I brought this up yesterday. Godzilla, King Kong vs. Godzilla. Legit pissed me off. I don't know if that one guy came up like Malcolm X. Because he's Japanese. Malcolm X is not Japanese. Well, why, why, why else would he look like that? Maybe it's just, maybe. I mean, this is 57 years old. Yeah, I, I'll talk about this now. I'm planning on doing TV reactions. Well, you told me about that. No, no. I want to get into more detail. Basically, it's every episode video is one episode. So we do like 
if it's like Zooey 101. If, uh, Zooey 101, one 20 minute episode. If it's something like SpongeBob, two 11 minute episodes together because that's one episode. If it's something like Chicago, for example, Law and Order, mm-hmm. one episode that's 40 minutes. Man, the way I have my car has actually made sense. I didn't have the opportunity to win. This is, I think this is Mothra's second movie appearance. Did you bring the phone back? Did you get no. It? I thought you were okay. No. I thought you had it. That's why I didn't grab it. I might actually want to check this pack though. Why don't you put it on the bed? That's why I didn't see it. Thank you. Ugh. Oh I my god. I might as well practice here um, just so I can quickly get a flow. How many you hard? Yeah. Two people are leaving Chicago Fire next season. That means it's just getting ready to add. Wait, what? Two. If, Wait, is, are, are you... I'm, no, I'm, I'm joking. Man, you should have said no. that from the beginning. No, no, no. This is that sound stupid though. Two of the main cast since the beginning are leaving. The show's going to be ending next season now because of that. Man, you know, you should have said Chicago Med because then I would have gotten it. I thought you were being serious for a minute. No, people are saying the Flash is ending with its eighth season because two of the main cast is leaving this season. Well, man, doesn't that sound stupid? Well, man, what's so good about Chicago Fire is no one knows. The only people who knows what's gonna happen are the people who are on the show. Like no fans know what's gonna happen unless they leak it and then complain when it's not a surprise. What's crazy is the season. Eight o- opening the character who died it was actually shocking. Um, oh, Mothra oh. first appeared in 1961's Mothra. This is Mothra's second film appearance. Mm-hmm. Overall, how cool is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, that's how I typed you pricks. And you don't give a shit. You're not reacting, shut your mouth. I'm Christopher Herman. Mammoth egg floats a shore. I'm Christopher Herman, who the hell are you? I'm not used to watching these 1960-esque movies. Man, it makes me wonder why the hell the Adams family was in black and white and not of color. Does it, have that, does it have that static noise? No. Like in the back, you just hear like a small... Probably, no. That's the worst frustrating thing of black and white. Maybe the reason why they... That's probably because of like this... Um... The scroll film in the movie. Um, probably the main reason why they didn't do it in color is because it's fake that everyone would... What, what year was it made? From 1964 to 1966. I don't think color was being used much then. What's it called though? Maybe because they were afraid people would get epilepsy, or would have epilepsy, because of the fact that pretty much all the furniture on set was pink. <laughs> awesome! If they did use color, it would have ruined the complete set. What's so what's so wack about the Axe family is Gomez is a, uh, is a successful lawyer, even though a he's never won a case, but b he's never lost a case. He hasn't had a case yet. No, he has, but he's never won or lost. Yet. How? That's stupid. That's kind of the point that they're that wacky. Hey, no, no, this wacky that it's just not making sense at all. We're talking about the Alice family and the Godzilla movie. I don't know how the we... end of Uki. Please kill me, Uki. Shut your mouth! Thank you. <laughs> I can't actually hit you for that one. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to say. Uh, if, you you. Say, if you actually said, I will punch you, legit. Thank you. Technically, I'm not. 
You got that from the child's play, Goofy. No. I got that from South Park. Fook! Kenny! Er, I can I can I can do so bad actually. I know I wasn't Cartman. Do you know what my favorite scene of that whole South Park is? Wendy fighting Eric in the in that schoolyard. You know Eric! What? Fuck you guys, I wanna go home. Okay, I deserve that, but that's pretty funny. How he rats out who who says that he's like, fuck you guys, I wanna go home. <laughs> like Carmen's fat ass he has zero worries. You call him my mom? Said every little gangster ever, basically. I think if you want anything, then hand you stuff, if you're welcome. I the I know on Elm Street I had when I reacted in Kotoba. Ah. It was in another language. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't a huge fan of it. I have it. I, you know, I recently got the original movies on DVD. So I'm going to watch it again and actually get my thoughts now. Man, it isn't. I said ma'am for no reason. It is an insult that we can only go 100, 188 on the back stretch here. You know, this is How many laps is this? It, this will be 160. 160? That seems short. You usually have at least 300. Well, those are usually at short tracks. This is two and a half miles. Usually the ones that... Oh uh, my god, my thing close. Usually the ones that have the really big um ones are the... Uh, a lot of laps are like the half mile ones, like the ones that you hate. No, no. I hate it the longer it goes on because it's like I'm, I'm in the lead. Mm -hmm. But because it's so short, cars are backed up and lets everyone else catch up then. Uh, I mean, that that's that's the only way, man, you can really win on hard difficulty is if everyone else gets caught up with flat traffic. Like at road courses, I can qualify good. Like at Watkins Glen, I can dive into turn one. Then after that, they get me down on the front stretch. I mean, not front stretch, but like the straightaways. But I make up for it once they catch a black track, so for record when it comes to that, we go out. What is that, a small block? Uh, yes, Mama. I don't know what that little rascal could have gone to. I'll find him. Oh, that's always fun. Did you, bro, finding out who he played in an SG episode, though, is kind of, yeah. I don't know. The guy who played Peter. Who's Peter? I know, I know, I know like 50 Peter. Um, from everybody with Raymond. Ah, okay. You, you need to be more specific. Yeah, yeah you know, Peter Griffin. Peter. I know, I know like three. I know Peter Griffin, Peter Parker. No, no, I know seven different Peter Parkers. Um, yeah, and you also know Peter McDougal. Who's Peter McAllister, like yeah. three different versions. No, two. Oh, that's right. Now, technically speaking, there's going to be a third one to be a movie. Are they actually going through with that? I, I, uh, apparently, they're bringing back Kevin, Harry, and Maude. Like, the, mm -hmm. the original actor. And they have to start doing that soon just so Joe Pesci doesn't die. He's in his late 70s. I mean, it doesn't mean he's going to die soon, but once you get to that age, honestly, you can die soon. I mean, because he's right around the. Um, hey, I, I, I want to back text something. Hey, hey, no, no, hang on. Hold that thought. I mean, Catherine O'Hare is in her 60s. The guy who plays Chucky is 71. Yeah. Of course, in his defense, though, he just has the voice he for Chucky now. about seven years until he has life expectancy. Of age. course, in his defense, um, he does voice as Chucky now. Yeah. The last time he actually physically portrayed Chucky... Is when he told you to clean your room. Piss off. Abelian! How about you burn in hell? Well, no, there's not for you, young man. And he's like, who said I want to desert you, vile woman? Dang you, vile woman! Damn you, vile woman! You have impeded my efforts to escape from your wretched womb since the day I was born. I'm gonna regret Finally! I'm, I'm gonna regret asking My device is nearing completion. And I'm gonna regret asking this. Uh-huh. Why do you have brain pop? Download it on your phone. I just downloaded that months ago just so I can go back to glory days when I would watch that. I forget who it was. Uh -huh. <laughs> Someone was watching something from Brain Pop. Mm -hmm. I go on YouTube. They see Brain Pop Jr. instead. 
And then reaction is, who's this B? <laughs> no, don't say that out loud. No, no. <laughs> say it off oh, man. R- r- Really, Tim's the old G, man. And he's, no, no, no. Why the hell did they even have to get a new character for Brain Pop Jr.? So, because Brain Pop's for more mature kids. And he represents the cool young kid audience. Man, Tim, really, Tim? Tim is smarter than Annie. Plus, they didn't need to bring in a different character just to explore, uh, just for a child. Thing. And then, uh, and then tomorrow morning we wake up to a new website, Brain Pop Senior, with a new old character. For yeah, and he's like, Moby, if you don't give me my cigarette, I'll kick you in the groin. Now, I'll kick your gears. Mm-hmm. And then I'll call, and then I'll say, Hippie, you communist. I'm, I'm, I'm not You're talking annoyed. about this movie much, because right now. It's not that interesting. I won't lie, man. And I like that. And Drake and Josh go Hollywood. Hippie, you communist. Yeah, I, I did not want to start reacting. I want to start reacting to live action shows and just make you watch them with me. I don't mind doing that. I mean, since it's a uh, more favorable time of the year, uh, yeah, sure. Man, man. But just tell me when you want to. I can do it. I mean, the only issue is no headphones. We can just do one each. No. Sure. No, not that. Mm. We could do like six episodes at once. Yeah. Six videos. Yeah, because that would be Please, hours. I'm not going to make you come back here, sit down, and watch one video and then leave. Yeah. There's no point in that. Yeah. It's stupid. Zero. Zilch. <laughs> and I'm Lee Harvey Oswald. Can and you? Man, man, my, my, my Christopher Herman voice and my Lee Harvey Oswald voice are basically the you same damn thing. Come and I don't for Herman is no Marxist. I guess I want to say this out loud. What? Yeah. You know, you know what I said? Yeah. I, I think it's in cam quality. What? What do you mean? It's, uh... Uh, oh, you oh you mean someone's watching it, but they but they filmed it, yeah. They, they filmed it with their, through their, uh, reflected, reflected glasses. <laughs> uh... Don't do it. I don't want to because it ruins it. Who knows how good quality it is? That and also you want to see it in theaters. Anyway. Yeah. Plus, uh, did you hear? Plus, plus three. Fast and the Furious's profits are going down rapidly. It's bombing now. That's what websites are saying. Well, people have to remember it has been released in the U.S. yet. Right, let me see how much money it's made from. Plus, that. who knows how much uh, John- Jonathan Cena pissed off all of the authoritarian communists in China by saying Taiwan was a goddamn country. You know it is. Yeah, I mean, see, issue, that's an issue. It's a 69 on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. It, if we're going logistically here, it hasn't been released in America yet. It's already technically made more than its budget. How, how much? The budget it? says oh, yeah, 200 yeah, yeah, million yeah, it, plus. It, 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 it's... I made a profit of almost thirty million, which which really for a movie may not seem like much, but it actually is. Because that means over a million people in theaters saw it. Because movie theaters don't. And it's currently the fourth highest grossing film of the year. Behind what? <laughs> One of them's got Zelda vs. Kong. What's the highest grossing film? Hang on, hang on. Because I have not heard of any other movie on um, this year so far. I think it's something in like Japan or China. I'm sorry, I'm telling you, man, like. What the hell is this? China has become one of those countries where it matters consumers. Um, Even uh, though, really, they, they need to pay more attention to Africa and India because both are seeing big population gains. And only recently, China has allowed its citizens to have three kids instead of Can you hold that thought real quick that my uh, Wikipedia decided to go slow on my phone? I'm surprised that, that wasn't in the news more that uh, China has allowed its um, people to have three kids instead of two. That's a war now? It, 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 um, originally, it was one child, and because pretty much every single couple is having more than one child, um, a lot of forced abortions happen, along with... Um, like people basically um having to file basically they had to lie to the government um but then like years back I don't know when but like the Lord I finally got the forty golden they keys they changed it to um two kids and then like last week they changed it to three probably because China's seeing low birth rates because of it and uh oh come on man come on man. If you want, we can also, um, like, rank, like, the episodes we watch. Mm-hmm. 
You know how I talked about doing that before? Mm. The thing asks for help. You know the thing? No, no, that, that's my, by the way, it's my, it's Mothra. That's what the thing is. Well, honestly, bro, uh, like, when it comes to movies, uh, like, if you, if you want to get a profit, you start looking more to, like, Africa, because although Africa's still very poor, it's starting to become more, um, uh, organized and more developed in India, because India, by, I think, 2027, they said, will overtake China population. Unless, of course, the main reason why China decided to change its child policy is so that India can't overtake them, which would be really stupid that it's going to happen anyway. Alright. You want to say the top 10 highest grossing movies? Yeah, man, honestly, man, the thing, the thing that's so weird about China is they, they like having a dick measuring contest in literally every single, about every single thing, really. I'm surprised they haven't started, um... By the way, Avatar's the highest grossing movie again. Mm -hmm. They re-released it in China. Oh, yeah, I saw it. That's stupid. Yep. They need to count only its original run. Original. I, they should really re-release Endgame, um, if they were... Oh, they will, movie. trust me. Yeah. Okay. Fast 9 has grossed 231 million. Where, where does that sit among the top 10? Fourth. Okay, then. Number 3. Godzilla vs. Kong. Four hundred thirty-six million. Respectable. Detective Chinatown three. What the hell? Seven hundred and two million. What the? I believe that's that? actually something that was released in China. China. It's a Chinese film. Shocker. It was not released in America. You know what I have to say about that? Yeah. China. All right, what's first? Yeah, it was released in China. Yeah. Another Chinese made movies. Number one. I believe so. Hi mom, eight hundred twenty nine million. That's probably Chinese. It's also a Chinese. Yeah, movie. just just that title alone makes it sound Chinese. Don't ask me why I believe that. I just bloody do. I think there's something else you want to Oh, I know what I'm saying. Top ten. No, no, not that. I I thought you wanted to pick something else, but now I I don't know what to look up. Yeah, which dumbass. You know, we're either gonna get Fast Ten or Hobbs and Saw Two in two years. Mm -hmm. my, what? my prediction is Fast 10 or Hobbs and Saw 2 will come, another Fast Fast movie will come out until Chastain, you dunked out yet again, dude? A new Fast and the Fast movie won't come out until 2023, I'm following it. Yeah, they're gonna, I don't know when Hobbs and Saw is gonna be released. You mean Hobbs and Saw 2? Yeah. yeah. I'm only saying, technically speaking, Fast 10 would've been coming out by now, I think. Yeah, if Hobbs and Saw was, I mean, they would've released uh, Fast 9, um, in 2019, and then Fast 10 this year. Why is... Oh my god, this is frustrating. I mean, they'll probably... They, they very well could release both Hot and Shot 2 and Fast 10 in 2023. That'd be extremely stupid. No, not really. Stupid internet! Walk! But it probably means that Hot and Shot 2 would be released first because you would think that, um... It's sad that Dwayne Johnson and Vicky used to have to act like children and can't get along. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, it sucks that Decker won't be in Fast 9, but hopefully, um, him and Hercules can get over their arguments, and he can, and Decker can return to the crew in 20, uh... Decker has issues too? No, no, I, I'm just joking because of, uh, uh, Jason Statham filming Hop and Shaw, he, um, isn't in Fast 9 except for that ending. For what, what, what I thought. Yeah, so, um, I'm just hoping that, uh, I, I, I was joking in the sense that him and Hercules shot, like, shot Hobbs, but beside the differences and they return to the crew for whatever reason. I wonder how they're gonna do what they're gonna do with John Cena, aka Jacob. If they just kill him off, I don't know if I want to see the tenth one. That's gonna be strange. You, what? You, you, you introduce Super Cena. No, no, no. no don't, don't do J.R. Hildebrand. You introduce Damn. Dom and Mia's brother. Nah. And this whole movie, for instance, is going to about the importance of this family they're mm -hmm. making. Oh, when you get one of the real family, you kill them off. Man, I almost, really? I almost slammed the shit out of that outside wall. I haven't seen Godzilla Mothra yet, that's what I'm saying, but I'm hoping it gets more exciting. So. 
What's the difference? Ah! Oh my god, for a second, I guess I went to three spinoff films still. Oh, what's out the Oh, uh, Squidward's. Oh, yeah. SpongeBob? It's not a real story. Oh. Ah! Now, ah! Oh. Ah! 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 And then Squidward just wants to shoot himself in the mouth with a freaking pistol. Now this is the first Fast and the Furious movie, like main series movie in over four years. Yeah. The last one was released in twenty seventeen. And I think it was released in May twenty seventeen or something. Honestly, why the hell would Don want to spend his honeymoon with Cuba? This is the longest wait for a Fast and the Furious movie. Yeah, even over uh if, if we e don't e even over the wait between uh Too Fast and Furious and Tokyo Drift and Tokyo Drift and Fast Four. If we don't count Hobbs and Saw, which I'm not here. Yeah, it's four and the previous was three. I don't think we're going to have to wait that long again. I can, you, say, can you hear the movie? A little more time. I can hear it like sometimes, probably when like, the audio is cranked up for something. But overall, I really can't. I mean, I, th uh, I, I will not have an issue with that so-called uh, female spinoff. As long Just, as they don't introduce new characters that... Nah, you know. I think they are. I won't have an issue with that if the writing's good. Yeah, I mean, as long as the writing's good, not bland or... Oh, oh, let's introduce a new team. Well, what happens in it? Oh, we're better than Dominic Toretto. Why? Because it's a goal yeah, behind the wheel. Yeah, I mean, like, only three people I can think of that would be in it would be Letty, Mia, and Ramsey. Unless, of course, if they do, uh... Uh, Pikachu and somehow Giselle is alive too. Pikachu. I don't know. I just said that again. Okay, Man, I would not be surprised if they do that. Where no, what you should have said, what you should have said was Porta Heim. Yeah, Porta Heim is alive, and she's alive. Yeah, I was actually about to say that. I mean, other than that, there's. I mean, you can't say uh, Vince's. I think wife from Fast Five because we know nothing. Jesus about Christ! Her. No, we. Does he even have any lines? Uh, yeah. Is he dead? Yeah, she, like, when she was, when she, um, when, um, she asked Vince, um, uh, about me and, and Brian, and, um, then her and me had a conversation about, um, Nico, and then, uh, Rosa asked, uh, Mia if Brian knew. Okay, okay, I, I want to say this, and mm -hmm. let me actually finish. School, the all-female Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Could have walked with an all female cast. If the writer wasn't so horrible and Leslie Jones didn't have to act. That. And the females yeah. are the daughters of the original team. I mean, bro, Leslie no, Jones it's a is such a bad actor. Yeah, and it has a, nothing to do with her appearance by any means. It's just that she has zero talent. Not to mention, not only her on SNL, but SNL as a whole has, been, has become so shit, it's not even funny. Uh, if, 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 like, oh, wait, what, what, what's so wrong about the parents getting their daughters have a chance to do what they did? That's not a bad story. No, but we have to get the one that we got. Yeah. Whoa, so what about your boy? I think Charlie's Angels bombed hard because of what it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, Captain Marvel. I, I would say this. I've, I've watched Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. I only like it because, A... A lot of the characters are fun, and B, the actual twist was actually surprising. Are they doing a uh, Joker, uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker? I've heard rumors about it. If they are, I'm not going to be excited for when it comes out, because you'll have all the people bitching about how, how it's going to be repeated the 2012 or Carl Lottie in the theater sure. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that dude, jo Joker wants you to shoot people! <laughs> The guy who did it got 3,000 in 118 years in prison, even though they should have just given him a freaking needle. I thought they did the jail. No. Oh, did they not do that after the jail anymore? Um, only in. I think. I think there's a couple states that have electrocution still, but there's really none. I do know that in South Carolina, um, someone on death row can be choose to be executed by. A we can talk about this because the jail is not for a whole month. But I looked at it. The person who's caught it in the Ramsey for, 
is being executed by the needle. Yeah. Um, cards. and and uh, the guy who plays Carnage, Woody Harrelson, I know him because he played Chester Nimitz in Midway. But his father actually. Um, I bet we see him that he's a hitman. Uh, f forty years ago, um, his father killed a federal judge. Or something like that. <laughs> I heard them think he's an actual hitman, man. And bro, literally, that's actually—I mean, killing anyone's a serious offense. But, oh, but killing a judge, especially a federal one, is even. I made a line. Offense. I wanted to tell you that. Is it shit? No, no. It, 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 it better no. not be. So you 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 want to you want to tell the police I threw a knife at you, after you came at me with a knife, paying to stab me. Mm. Logically, what what do you come out of this looking good? Hmm. Do, you, do you think that makes sense? Yeah. You better not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You better not. Uh, oh, what lies? Yeah. What's so funny is Patrick says SpongeBob made it, even though you can see all the chocolate. There, that's a joke. Oh, he's Patrick's so face. stupid he doesn't realize he just ate it. <laughs> oh, if you go eat it now. I mean, SpongeBob's half stupid. I, I think I'll that I think I'll eat it now. Ow! Huh? <laughs> I mean, honestly, SpongeBob's half stupid. I don't get how. That's the thing. I don't get how. How can SpongeBob and Squidward have uh, all the things they have with Mr. Krabs paying them like five cents a day? Please, they don't make money. I think there's a joke. I mean, I, I there's I, a joke. Honestly, a Viet, uh. Uh, eight-year-old Vietnamese kid making Nike shoes in a sweatshop probably makes more than David Spongebob and Squidward do. In one episode, instead of giving them pay tax, he gives them a bell. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I kid you not, one of the things he charges both of them for is breathing. Yeah. And then Squidward goes, is this, a, this is ridiculous, right Spongebob? Spongebob's paying Mr. Krabs the money. Man, let's be honest, it's sad that Mr. Krabs sold Spongebob for a goddamn nickel. What's that nickel? No, he fired Spongebob and after over a nickel. Oh. He sold he sold Spongebob such a fine detriment over 39 cents. So it was like 500 bucks, and you know what? Yeah, I would fire him, but... I, I say this. What makes that walk? Mm -hmm. Squidward calls him out on yeah, even, Mr. Krabs. Even, even, even Squidward knew, man, this is motherfucking bullshit. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying this, but how could you sell out Spongebob? He stood up for you, and you completely sold him out. And then Mr. Krabs quiet saying he wants Spongebob back. The flying death of returns. Are you answering my plea? No! I can't think with him around! <laughs> oh, because Spongebob was that annoying. He just kept talking. <laughs> that is what the, the episode <laughs> ends with him being, the flying death getting a phone call. He answers it. Spongebob continues the conversation. <laughs> Bro, honestly, Spongebob would probably be the most likely person to fail a state test because um he talked too much he talked during the test not only that but he talked too much during the test he can't pass his driving test why oh uh, i i i thought it was because oh i'm he... sorry he can't drive a boat mobile but a bubble car bubble car he can drive perfectly all right that's an actual episode no! too Oh man, I got unbelievably tight. That's what happens when you don't. Play. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Look at that tail. That's Godzilla, by the way. Oh yeah. What movie did was Bob watching on um, Christmas? I mean, Good Luck Charlie is Christmas. I don't know. We may need to Google that later. Don't criticize the way. Okay, I'm looking. Don't right criticize right. how he looks. This is 1964. Oh, oh, I get it. That I. I could, I could hear him more just now. Yeah. You know that's actually put a person in a costume? Mm. Back then CGI wasn't a thing. Yeah. So they had to use costumes like this. Why do you want to name that massive? It's because it's close up. Dude. There's no way they made a costume that big. Well, they they don't have trivia on what the hell Bob was watching. What did you look up? What Godzilla movie was no, Bob? No, that's what movie was Bob watching Good Luck Charlie's Christmas? I said, what good Godzilla movie was Bob watching Good Luck Charlie's Christmas? I didn't know it was a Godzilla movie. Because you can see Godzilla! And that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Getting my wisdom teeth taken out is gonna be a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa! Whoa! Well, we one third done this movie! And oh my god! We got both monsters! It's the exact opposite of Godzilla vs. Kong! How is this better than Godzilla vs. King Kong? Hey, this is somehow better than King Kong vs. Godzilla. Yeah, bro, you all went haywire in that third, didn't you? Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, resorts to violence. Oh, he handcuffs up to Gibby. What does he do? We went to the whole world, he never kissed a girl. Yeah, after... People she... actually said that was one of the worst things he's ever done. Yeah. And it was uncalled for. Yeah, and that was after she put a fish in his locker. <laughs> I said that's not Connie doing it to Gibby. The Gipster. I, I love, love that. that. Oh my god, guys, that was wrong so much. Yo, this, hands down, is the best movie so Sam. far. Yo, Freddy, Aki, the Gipster. I love that. I, no, 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 why am I arguing with a puppet? Here, just if you want to fall away. I, I, I like I got a hot room house, which was like, I, um, yeah. Uh, the painters, the painters, yeah. The carpenters, here. That, the electric, the electrician guy. Yep, the audio, uh, visual guy. That's you, man. I'm mad. <laughs> and then after they're done with all blood, sweat, and tears, man, um, he makes uh, he makes everyone except for the Gibbs, uh, Sam, except all your priceless uh, artifacts and memories you can't get back. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> what sucks, man, is that I was gonna say how much love. See, you can find one on Google, but it's gonna set you back eight hundred bucks. <laughs> oh shit! Cause you get a sofa for half. That. <laughs> there's no back on it. So that, what's so, the point? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it said be the bottom of the sandwich. The ice cream is the actual sofa. And then the back part is the top part of the sandwich. Oh, well, you can like open. open it up. No, no, it's already open. Well, or it could be like one of those couch bed sofas, or bed yeah. sofas, where you can pull out the, the ice cream to make an actual sofa. Yeah. Oh, bed, sorry, mattress. <laughs> I mean, because, I mean, really, you hate, most, like, I mean, it's supposed to be someone who sits, you, you're gonna want, you pretty much gonna want it, where it has a back on it. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the reason, it, they call it a back for a reason, because it supports your back. Yeah. When we talk about parents in Dan Snyder's shows. Oh, uh, Bobby Carter. You fucked up. You know what? I gotta go check something. Man, Chastain, you would. We'll continue yeah. this conversation when you get back. Yeah, I just gotta check something. And the guy who's 40th finished 40th last week and 39th. Let's so talk week. about parents and Dan Snyder's shows. Mm -hmm. Victorious's parents. Victorious and Trina's parents are the lost. Hands down. Yeah. Drake and Doss's parents. They're idiots. But they still care about their kids. Yeah, but they're gullible and dicks half the time. Yeah. Really, the show that probably has the best parents are either Zoe 101 or uh, iCarly. Okay, well, hang on. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But it's like, you, you, you think, why, why did Drake and Dice get in trouble for the salsa exploding? Mm -hmm. You dumbass. And B, and this one's more stupid. You two ought to be ashamed of yourself. Drake and Dice pushed me. What? Okay, time out there, dumbass. Why would Josh do that? Yeah. No, why, why, why would your son, who's, who's weak, do that? Mm -hmm. Drake! He might. Joss? Why? Maybe get your head out of your own ass. Oh, I'm sorry. It's trapped in a thunderstorm every day. Bro, I swear, um, when Jake grows up and gets bit in the ass by a prawn, and he's probably going to scream Megan because he thinks Megan has Oh, she so probably did do something to it, remember? Yeah. She yeah. threw a cookie, a co cookie at old Joss. You mean young Joss. No, old Joss. Well, she did. Well, she no, did. she did it when they were kids, when they were kids, and when they were old men. Oh yeah, and oh, that's how it ended. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. Drake, Drake, here's your oatmeal. Josh, here's your wheat. Wait, wait, I wanted the oatmeal. No, you didn't. 
over my dead body. <laughs> I can wait five minutes. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, so I don't know one's parents. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Do their parents? Where, where is her, um, PCA? Uh. Where's the location? Like like in story. It's probably I think it's uh Malibu, which is. Uh, okay. Do their parents live in the area? No. How far do they live from it? Across the country. How long is that? So, it, um, basically, the PCA is pretty much LA. Um, well, they said I forget where exactly. Uh, I mean, because Jamie Lynn Spears, she's from um, Mississippi. Um, they said I think she, I, they said that Zoe um lived lived in either Louisiana or Mississippi, but that's still a good like three three and a half hour flight time. How far is London from Los Angeles? A ten hour flight. So, so they they move away from what their kids are, mm -hmm. theoretically. That's because... Why did they go to the, uh, London again? I don't remember that. Because uh, Zoe's dad, his job opened a uh, London office and they wanted him to move, um, move there to open it up. That's dickish. Um, but they do care. And they did come and ask them if they want to go with them or not. I call me parents. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Mm -hmm. Gibby's mom, she loves Ruffle Boys. Mm -hmm. Sam's mom, she's a bitch. She's a character. Okay. No, no. Freddie's no, mom. No, not not yet. Okay. Noah's parents, they're crazy. Yeah. Connie and Spencer's. If we go for the pet dad, mm -hmm. he's in the army. No. Uh, Military. He's in Navy. Navy. Yeah. You can't fault him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Spencer, he's a bad parent. Guardian. Guardian, but he's a great brother. Yeah. Their I, granddad I, yeah. does love them. Mm -hmm. Alright, now let's get to Freddy's mom. Freddy's mom, okay. she, she may be, let's face it, See, she, she may be a Karen, honestly, but she does truly care about Freddy. She is a mix of Zoe's parents, uh -huh. Nick and Doss's parents, and somewhat Tori and Trina's parents. I mean, I mean, she's she's very she's very nosy, but she just wants what's best for her. Right? See, she's overprotective and that she's bad. Mm -hmm. She's clueless sometimes that Freddy's grown up, but she does love him. Hey, hi, honey. You want some eggs? Don't listen to her. It's not eggs. It's that fake egg crap. It tastes exactly the same. Yes, exactly like crap. Why are you making fake eggs? Well, your father and I went to the senior health fair yesterday. Senior health fair? Where are the rides there? The go play go around? Tunnel of gas? What's that from? Uh, no fat. <laughs> I remember those way. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I told my... They could play Because you were know, you know, watching Robert's wedding. Mm -hmm. I was flank. I need a good tip my wife was in the <laughs> Jesus, Lou! <laughs> that 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 that's Frank when he learns that one beer is three bucks. I'm sorry, Henry's parents are close contention to Tori and Trina's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? No, no, no. You're you're right actually because I mean I mean by uh, Henry's father he knows that Captain Man has an attraction to his wife, while Tori and Trina's mother, uh, Tori and Trina's father. Is freaking oblivious to the fact that his partner's probably banging his wife. Uh, what parents? Okay, in their defense, they <laughs> in the fight up, so they they won't let Henry leave. Mm -hmm. He reveals them he's Kid Danger, and this is the reaction. Henry's mom, you're Kid Danger, and this is his dad's reaction. I knew it. <laughs> that was that's actually legit funny. I'll say that. They, if you if you are a parent and your daughter is like. Hype on in the early season. Mm -hmm. You failed as a parent. Yeah, wonder, wonder how did Piper go from Dorsey to Piper? Oh, she's always been the same. <laughs> yeah, she, she's played a real bitchy P character. Pipe, no, uh, Grant, I would say this: she got better as the series got as she got older. Hey, you know, in um, uh, I owe you money. Oh no, I owe you and I quarterly. Yeah. You know, when Sam's working at Chili My Bowl <laughs> and that guy complains about not not having hot sauce on that tray. 
You know that guy? You, you know that guy? In a way, he's a deck. Yeah, well, that guy is... There's the sugar! Is that Stan? That's the guy who voices Stan, yeah. Wow. He went from being a jackass to a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's just because I was looking up Stephen Fools. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, he wasn't Stan. He was the voice of Stan. Yeah. Don't take away from I'm Stan. I'm a macho boy, baby. <laughs> Get off me, you crazy boy. Let me go. This dog is too vicious. Yet handsome and majestic. <laughs> Yet handsome and majestic. Hi. Yes. Yes, Mama. Don't take away from the person who actually played Stan, Mordecai, Raymond, Charles, Liam, White, James. Oh, so you're calling me now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they have to you really want to do a dog, dog for Bob Riddle, they have to do it before uh, Mech dies. Um. Because Mech's, I think, already 10. That's old for a dog. The way you want to wipe someone like Piper. Mm -hmm. Turn down the brightness by 20%. Yo, I don't know if you heard me, but I look what Aunt Bate in my room is not working. Nice. T it took almost a goddamn day. No, that actually happens. No, but what sucks with me is, of course, if no, do not hit the damn wall like Hildebrand. Damn it. I don't care that I can't connect to the network. Oh, God. Like playing Hitman 2. Um, Mako actually care more about people. Don't you like how we've had more rain in the past, uh... 30 hours than we than we had all of last month. <laughs> um, I mean, really, May was a dry ass uh, month, and now oh, not even uh, a week into June, and we probably had more rain in the past 30 hours than we did all of last month. I mean, granted, they had the same issue with Megan from Vic and Joss in a way, mm -hmm. but a she wasn't screaming every one of her lines out for the first half of the show. See. And see, at least Cersei does love her fam her brothers deep down a few times. Which, again, by the way, if they did not have that ending scene of Megan's new boyfriend, mm -hmm. she probably would not have been as great of a character. Monica, who's Monica? Okay, Alien Invasion. I do love. They try and prank call by being aliens, and then a so-called real alien comes mm -hmm. in and kills them. She got them. No, no, Walter, here's the TV. What's up? Ah! Ah! That is pretty funny how um uh, how uh, the guy met um uh, Megan Hires is watching the And when Walter TV. sees him he just freaks out. Well he, no, when when Walter sees him the uh guy turns around and says, Hey and then the guy just runs ah! No Walter, not the guy. Hey. You can't sleep in the bathroom either. Huh. Ah. Oh hey. You can't sleep in the bathroom either. <laughs> that is pretty pathetic. Look at Martha. Oh, you missed him. Yeah, those two look like Japanese pageant girls. They are actually fairies. What's the difference? Ah! They're way smaller. Look at them. Huh? That's how big they are. What? what? They're fairies. No, not in uh, real life. No, the characters are that big. The marvelous fairies. Is an average kid who no one understands. Mom and Dad and Vicky are always giving him commands. That twerk. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't. The really dooming blue within his room. I forget that part of the song. His magical fist grab his every wrist. Cause in reality they are his. God, God, parents, parents, auto, odd parents, 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 parents. parents. wand and rings, floaty, crowdy things. Let's be honest, man, class one wand, though, really, the Timmy's parents. Yeah. Slim summer. What's your baby's name again? Poof. Yeah. Now, okay. Timmy's parents want the wars that boss. Yeah, let's be honest, 2000's Cartoon Network was. Oh, and it's go age. Oh, hell yeah. And all the, most of the bullshit they have now is not good. I mean, really, Teen Titans Go. Oh, I mean, please. I rarely have watched it, but... I've seen episodes. It's I personally don't like Toys on Morale. I, I think it's interesting. I wish they made more Total Drama seasons with that. Yeah. 
Yeah, because everyone who uh, plays characters on there is still fairly young, you know, unless if they get like cancer or die in free car accidents, they're not going to die anytime soon. By season, see, season eight of Fairy Odd Parents, mm -hmm. the final episode of that season would have been the perfect way to end the show. I mean, they really need to do a Seinfeld reunion because Michael Richards um, is already in his Who? Uh, Kramer is already in his early 70s. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld's in his uh, later mid 60s. Ow. Godzilla's long. Jason Alexander and Julie Louise Dreyfus is both in the their early season. I thought she never asked. And season eight's finale of Fairy Odd Parents. It's called Meet the Odd Parents. Meet the Bitch Parents, yeah. Timmy's parents find out about his fairies. No, they actually find them, see them. Mm -hmm. And they try and hide from jargon that they know. And, and his parents and his fairy odd parents get along great. Mm -hmm. In the end, they have to forget Cosmo and Wanda so Jimmy can be happy, and you know what they say. Mm -hmm. They're glad he has such great god parents making him happy. Yeah. And then what happens? They made season 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. The last time about there was the battle. Why? Because they were so horrifically bad or something? Season 9 brought in a, a fairy dog, which was terrible. What the fuck? And then season 10 brought in a new best friend who was perfect. By the way, by that season, all we got was Timmy, Cosmo, Wanda, Chloe, Timmy's dad, Foop, Mr. Quackle, and Vicky. Bro, I don't know why. That's pretty much all the characters we saw every episode. I had multiple dreams last night. The one I can remember was one that had Grandma and Grandpa in it. Interesting. Don't go into much detail on that. We don't want to show stuff like that. The only thing I can remember was something about, you know, someone else. Having a couple of hot chocolate with more trails. You can tell me that, um, tell me that. That's really all I can remember about it, honestly. Colin is such an asshole that no one really cares about. Now, now, now you know what made it more funny? Colin is an a-hole. That no one understands that. That would be more fun. Colin is an asshole that, I, that nobody understands. Colin twerk. <laughs> Stop. Can you, like, let yeah. me freaking race? Yeah, we did the joke. Sure. Okay, right. you're gonna make me crash. Let me do the joke. No, you're gonna make me crash. Five seconds, let me do the joke. What are you, Japanese mother or something? That hits their kid with the freaking flip flop? No, an adult hitting another adult with a flip flop. It's, it's funny, man. It's this last thing where this uh, teenager asks his mother, Hey mom, do you know what the worst thing about going down your grandma is? And she's like, what? When you hit your head on the coffin? And his dad burst out in laughter, and then his mom was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And then his dad went like, ah! <laughs> I can probably find you the video after. Don't wait until I'm done with this. Hey, you know what they call it? You know what I like how a lot of these reactions is just talking. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I am paying attention still. Do you know what a redneck orgy is called? No, 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 not a camera. A family reunion. What is it about? <laughs> uh, this is it. I'm just gonna strangle you. Oh, what the hell happened to that guy? You know what is oh, it? Nice. You know what is it in a Catholic priest have in common? Wait, what? You know what is it in a Catholic? You know what zits and a uh, Catholic priest have in common? I um, mean, have in common. You can't get rid of them. No. Um. <laughs> well, how bad is the job? No, you know, no, you know what the difference between uh, a zit and a Catholic priest is? You can't get rid of one of them. No, a zit, uh, a zit waits until you're twelve to come on your face. No, no. Pause it and come here. No. Yeah, no. Come here right now. I'm turning off the TV. You know, you know, you deserve this. No. Just, no, you're not slapping me straight across the face. <laughs> no. If three women go out to get ice cream. One. No, no. If this is a bad joke, what, 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 one. How bad is it now? It's, it's really not that bad. One bites their ice cream, one licks their ice cream, and one swallows their ice cream. Which one is Mary? <laughs> 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 
Which one is me? Yeah. That's my answer. No, don't say it out. The one, the one, no. But the one with the wedding ring is me. But I like the way you think. <laughs> yeah, but you don't say which one had the wedding ring now. How's that now? <laughs> That's the part of the joke that... You walk into that shop though. Wait, wait. They, like that, when I was doing learning strategies, hey, that, I got a whittle. It was the whittle for my calling. Bert, do you know how rednecks get um, circumcised? Right. They get their sisters in the mouth. Okay, one more joke like that, and I would delete this. Uh, I would legit uh, delete this. You know why Chinese kids don't believe in Santa Claus? Because they make the toys? Yep. The egg all the time. Okay, that's the last one. I mean, that is, that is actually a <laughs> funny joke, but that's actually a true joke because China is the main source of toys for every single nation. I was going to say something, maybe forget it. Thanks a lot. Dude, I'm welcome. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I think I figured out why um we've um like uh manufactured goods um have been kind of more bare over the past couple months. Because forty nine percent of all uh overseas uh goods uh pass through either the LA um port or the Long Beach port and um, Okay, I'll give you a will. Yeah. On a dark, gloomy night. You know gloomy. Yeah, what does it mean? Basically, what um, it's kind of dark. It's usually what someone, it's dark and rain. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, There's been a model out of Manson. Oh, uh, it doesn't have to. Doesn't, Who committed the model? Did they? Uh, uh, did the uh, or hap um, happen? Uh, it's coincidentally ha happened at uh, a large 19th century mansion. No, no, no this is this is what all I kind of made up. Yeah. There's four suspects. The the gardener, the chauffeur, the maid, or the cook. Mm -hmm. Who did it? The cook. Why? You poisoned the uh, soup. Now. Uh alright, so you have the gardener, the chauffeur chauffeur, and the maid. Yeah. The maid uh stabbed him in the um eye with a feather duster. Not a feather duster. But the maid did it? Yes. Why? Because uh, damn it, Bush! If the god the garden was outside, there would be wet footprints around. Okay. The cook was busy cooking. The chauffeur doesn't come into the house. Mm -hmm. Who has keys to every room in the house besides besides the actual person? Not always the maid. Yeah, but usually he had to clean up the house. By the way, I'm not caught out and coming on set. I am liking this fight because they have been building this up. Uh, mm -hmm. I do like how on Dortmund though how they have all these secret passages in there. Hey, I have a riddle for you. Sure. There's a plane crash between the borders of America and Mexico. Mm -hmm. Where do you bury the survivors? You bet whoever. No, where do you bury them? Wait, wait, what was your riddle again? So there's a plane crash on the border of America and Mexico. Where do you bury the survivors? China. I have a question for you. Why would you bury the survivors in China? What, you, you, let me guess. You asked where do you bury the survivors? Yes. <laughs> if you, if you, if I, you, if I, you I, I, I probably would have uh, recognized that if I wasn't so busy. That's an actual joke. You, you asked them between America and um, <laughs> the bo actual border, mm -hmm. and then you asked them where do you bury the survivors? And if you, if you're thinking of the, the two areas, right? You're not going to listen to the angle to survivors. You think, oh, where do you bury the victims? Okay, this is as close up of the, the faces. Oh my god. I cannot watch this. Oh my god, my eyes. Hey, when you're at a new beach, how can you tell um, who the blind person is? <laughs> the person wearing sunglasses? Uh, no. They're <laughs> not hard. <laughs> Use all of that. Uh, 
Sorry, that is you the, Google that, don't lie! No, I actually hit the song with you. That is funny, you have to admit. A little kid asked his no, father. No! What, this is a dirty joke. No! Honestly. Wait till we're done! Wait till we're uh, done! Let me just say it. No! A kid, a kid um, asks. How um, bad am I gonna wanna kill you? Who knows? A kid asks his dad what's between his his mommy's legs and the dad responds paradise and i said what's hey daddy what's in between your legs the key to paradise uh i have i said the only key to paradise and he said well you better change that key because the next door neighbor also has the key to paradise oh. <laughs> That is pretty good. Oh, can you stop with the dirty jokes? You're not Glenn Quagmire. You can thank Drake Kiker and Aaron Neary on the I hate you. And and what's funny about Aaron Neary is he's Irish. So uh, every time he says a joke, his mother looks like she, she wants to decapitate him. Oh, his father laughs his ass off. Same with Drake's dad. A whole movie killer killed someone with a knife. Name the top three suspects. The motor weapon is a knife. Voorhees. Uh, ghost face. You mean Jason Voorhees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Voorhees, ghost face? Ghost face. Then I'll just say Freddy Krueger. Okay, you only got one. Ghost face. Um, Jason kills with a machete pretty much. Uh -huh. um, Freddy Krueger usually kills with his knife glove. It's a single knife. The other answers could have been Babyface, Chucky, or Michael Miles. I, I actually forget about Michael Miles a lot. He uses a giant butcher's knife. A giant butcher knife, like Trish Coletti? Yes. I'm already halfway done with uh, Elite Mode for case 6. <laughs> and and the, time, the Time Mode one, I was struggling deeply at first with it. Wow, I'm not even halfway done with this bitch yet. What time is it? 1048? 1050. Oh. And the, the, sh your shit here says 1048. Uh. So at least I know next time, um, I just, uh, look at your shit computer and then... Just look at your freaking phone! Uh, too lazy, don't want to pause the game for two seconds. I mean, y'all are slow as glasses today. You get a phone call from your best friend. But your best friend is sitting next to you. How are they calling you? It's not dumb. Jimmy, you better get out of my way, man. I knew the caution was coming out. Do you know my widow? Uh, Jimmy sucks. You, hey. them, Jimmy. Yeah. you get a phone call from your best friend. But your best friend is sitting next to you. How are they calling you? Your friend's mother's calling you. You're kind of right. Sister. I, the joke, I, I sort of said, you hear their voice, or something similar to their voice. Mm -hmm. How is it dumb? Their sister is calling, because they have similar voices. Woo, that is hot! <laughs> I mean, literally, it's on fire. What are you doing? Oh, never mind. I, I was, you know. Hey, yo, I have a question. <laughs> no. Is it dirty? Yes. Can it rain or can you No, say I have to say it now. No, I still have one to ten help that. Eight or nine, probably. No! <laughs> no! Do you think when a deaf girl masturbates, she uses one hand to masturbate and the other to moon? Okay, tell me that again when this is over. Because I'm not asking you quite another question. Oh. And I swear to God, oh. you'll be death when I'm done with you. After this is over. 
No, I take back what I say King Kong versus Godzilla. I don't want to kill the CEO now. Mm -hmm. I want to feed you to Godzilla. Hey, I'd be honored to eat you by Godzilla. Fine, feed to King Kong then. Oh, I'll see what there you go. Also, can I say that? Here comes King Kong. Oh, no. Here comes King Kong. Don't let me knock you in the attic out of the bitch. Yeah, can I say this? The, the humans are the giant biggest dumbasses of King Kong. Why would you take a giant ape from his island to a city? Mm -hmm. You are asking for him to just destroy it! Hey, when when a girl sleeps with a hundred guys, okay, no. she's considered a slut. But when a guy doesn't sleep with a hundred girls, he's um, definitely gay. I mean, definitely gay. That's stupid. No, because he, he because you want to sleep with a hundred women. That's the joke. That like, if you could, I mean, guy would pretty much, like, basically, they're saying that you would so. Pretty much any other I want to say something because this is actually canon. I really don't get why the hell uh, Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather's being fought tomorrow night instead. Freddy Krueger's mom gave birth to him mm -hmm. after she was uh over a hundred times. Don't say it out loud. What? Look at me. How the hell are you? She got locked in a room with a hundred cra over a hundred crazy people. Mm -hmm. That is actually the story. But you know, there's some gangs on Earth where if women want to join, they um they have to roll dice, and when the real land on, they have to have sex with that and other gang members. Like if you all are uh, eighteen, you have to take uh. Dipping balls from 18. Okay, okay. Um, any crew? Yeah, can, can, we, can we get Jason Voorhees or, or Michael Myers on there and just kill all these people? And how did Jason Voorhees hook up with that creative Justin Voorhees? <laughs> what? The girl from the first movie. The one that killed his mom? Who? Justin Voorhees? Actually, I don't oh, I'm terrible. Oh, sorry, no, no. Judy Myers, Michael Myers' older sister, mm -hmm. who he brutally killed. And, uh, Mrs. Voorhees, who gets brutally decapitated. Got him, uh, man, that was a gruesome murder. I, I actually really kind of don't remember it. I have to remember it. Yeah, you know, people say Friday the 13th. Man, Gase, you're a slow little boy. So, so, I don't know if we talk about this on camera. Sydney's the biggest B towards the end of the screen. The biggest B. See, on the camera guy are watching a video of Wendy. No, Kenny. His name is Kenny? Yeah. They, they're watching a video of Wendy with Ghostface behind him. And then Jamie, turn around. He's right behind you. The, the, Kenny realizes it's delay. And then gets killed. So, that means Wendy wasn't the killer. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he trust him then when stealing him on the front door? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm getting a little bit too loud, but still, it's stupid. Of course, Randy Meeks had to die, though. Spoiler! Yeah, but somehow, I imagine, though, when they, uh, Skeet Ulrich, aka, uh, Billy Loomis. Billy Loomis. No, Billy Loomis return. You make, you think of Matthew Willard who played Stu Mocker. Wait, you also played, played Billy? Uh, Skeet Ulrich. This is the guy that played Shaggy? No, Stu Mocker, who's played by Matthew Willard, who played Norville of, uh, uh, Shaggy Rogers. Who is a massive fan of Mary Jane? The guy who played Shaggy is the one that didn't die. Stu, yeah. How can Billy Loomis return that? Bitch, if they can make Han return from Fast and Furious and they can say, oh, and Shaw didn't die, then they'll probably make Billy Loomis realize. Now, Hans can be explained. Billy can. He got shot multiple times. In the head, yeah. Plenty of people survived. Uh, point point blank headshot. It's like he's died like seven times now. Fuck 
Yeah. He actually died about seven times. Yeah, that's why you passed to say you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what I like about how in Furious 7, how. Um, no, Furious 6, how I'm like, is there anyone else around? But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and everyone else is just stay around, like, dude, can you please shut the hell up? Do you want a one cool movie with a bow and axe kind of one? Freddy vs. Jason. You know why? Jason's still alive at the end. Jason's considered the villain. Both him and Freddy. Bro, Freddy looks like a uh, uh, freaking naked cat's balls. That's literally what he looks like. Why, is, why do I always have to do this too? Why do you always have to be this foul mouth punk? Because playing people foul mouth and Bro, uh, you know who Austin McBroom is, right? No. Well, he's gonna be, he's a YouTuber who's headlining the, uh, YouTuber which is the pack thing next week, next oh, weekend against Bryce Hall. And there was a video released of him, like, today, wiping his ass with Bryce Hall toilet paper. <laughs> Wait, like, someone on TikTok has toilet paper. Uh, no, Bryce Hall, who's a TikTok, who's facing Austin McGrin, Grin and Austin McGrin got custom toilet paper that had Bryce Hall's face on it, so basically he's... <laughs> Why? So basically, technically Bryce Hall's wiping, uh, Austin's ass. That is the stupidest waste of money I've ever heard of. It's just a, you can get a, bro. You can get really any design of toilet paper you want. If someone wanted to get like the American flag on the toilet paper, they could. If they wanted to get the Nazi flag on the toilet paper, they could. If they want to get Kim Kardashian's flag okay, now. on toilet paper. Shut they up. Okay. Almost anything is possible on Earth now. Almost. Not anything. Something I want to say, but I can't say it out loud because it could actually. Because you could call in the cop? No. It could have just get me in trouble. I'm just saying it. Speak to Monsanto. Okay, so. Is that. That's a. That, what? No, I thought it was caught. It was cool. Oh, shit. Oh, what? I'll show you the video afterwards. It is not good. <laughs> <clears throat> this hearing is just, oh my god. Mm. Alright, Martha's dead now. Mm. And this is why it's not spawning because he's been dead for a few minutes. Hey, you've heard of Shem Naked and Afraid, right? No, you haven't talked about it at the time, because the Hardy Boys don't like it. Well, uh, the game you can play with it is the game I love playing the most with my uncle. <laughs> ah, that's another joke. That's not literal. It's a joke, bitches. Hey, what are you more funny? What's an actual parent, you dumbass? <laughs> I fuck you, Peppa. You know what jokes Moss did once? Mm -hmm. I could have your mom touch my prickly legs. Don't say it. I was gonna say my prickly legs. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> Alright, look at this! Prickly. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. It's moth through a lava! Mm -hmm. He's a giant moth, so this, that, those are two baby caterpillars. Yeah, say, say, say something controversial and crazy. The Paul Brothers are what makes the Paul Brothers are what makes YouTube popular today. But if I get copyrighted because of that, I will punch you in the face. No, I highly doubt they would do that. Oh, you never know. So stupid or freaking. A guy got copyright strike. Was shown 10 seconds of someone else's live stream. The issue with YouTube is they're like going after uh, YouTubers with 5 freaking subscribers and not YouTubers with thousands. Even when they're in the middle of controversy. 
that's stupid, like, YouTubers who have actually done crimes and serious shit get a pass on a lot of stuff, but YouTube cares more about tiny ass channels that very few people ever see. I'm finding mine in your channels, for example. You probably have to know. Yeah, I, I mean, I only upload those people videos just because I could. Plus, all of those ones on my phone just up. Yeah, you could film this and upload it. What? This guy. Yeah, but that would be more than an hour. I think you can film... Well, not the sister, you can film other games. Yeah. I have it as a basketball game usually take. Depends on how fast you do. Like, if you do only a couple minute quarters, then you can do another... 10 minutes, probably, actually. Make it longer, then! See? If you do a full-length game, it'd be 48 minutes, plus or minus 5 minutes. No, plus 5 minutes or so. <laughs> that effect did not look as good as you think. Okay. I would say this, out of all the movies so far, this has been the best. Mm -hmm. And I've already talked about it, because we've just been talking about mm -hmm. some crap, like, how long now? And oh, 19 minutes! Yeah! Eyebrows and be stupid, but there it is. Oh, God. Alright, I don't know if you're more like atomic black. Stupid weddings. Here they are, aren't they beautiful? Ray! I left you up here an hour ago. I showered, did my hair, got the kids up, got them dressed. Kids go downstairs while he's yelling. You can't even do it yourself? What? I'm ready. Everyone is waiting for you. Oh, look at this. Look, this goes on after the pants Einstein here. Get it. Do you realize that is that it is a it's a three hour drive to Pennsylvania. Amy's waiting for me. Robert is a nervous rat. I mean, come on. Hey, 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 you might be a little angry to do the zipper. What have you been doing? I got the speech, the freaking toast thing I gotta do. What's you type of obsessing about the toast? Just say something funny and heartfelt. Nobody cares. Where is he? He's still in there. What, what are you doing? What? I'm coming. Would you hurry? Ma, Ma's already yelling at Dad because he dripped egg and cheese sandwich on his tux. Just get in the van. This is the biggest day of my life. What's going on? That's what you said at your last wedding. What's that, small mock? What the hell is going on there? That was the opening monologue for Robert's wedding. Oh yeah, out of context, it sounds incredibly stupid. What is that, small remark? Godzilla even hated it, he looked away from you. What is that, small remark? Oh, is he always like this? Oh, honey. Honey, this, this is honey, this is only the beginning. It is amazing. Honey. All right, it is time for the last house. Come it's, on, everybody, let's give a big warm welcome to Little Brother Raymond. Is every, on, is every episode like, what, 20 minutes? 28 or 23. It's Except amazing. for Robert's wedding, which was 38 minutes. Yeah, that's like it's amazing how in 32 minutes. minutes they could put in all those jokes that just walk. Shit, what the? What happened with the car? That's funny. You said on Godzilla's break dancing. That was weird, bro. Like, the car slid and it was strange. I've never had that happen to me because I'm not paying attention. Probably that, yeah. Probably. Maybe because he spent a whole minute looking up someone on their phone and then that loud. Yep. This is true. Okay, let's go. That's 
actually not a bad principal skin of boys. What is that smell on? Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. You kept saying something, and now I'm thinking of something loud and lots of words, and I can't say that loud. I can't believe one of the guys only offered me 1500 bucks for them to have 50 pieces of Pez. That is an insult to the Pez community. That's why they chew chicks. It depends on when those Pez's were released. They were late 60s and 70s. Late yeah, 60s, they, early 70s. If it's 150 collects, at least we won't get more than that. Well, the reason why Corey only offered only it was 1500 Corey only offered him a grand because he had to repackage them and he was going to sell them individually, not as a set. And for all Corey now, or he knew that he would be paying a thousand for them, but as he goes to sell them online, he sees every single one of them. Like, he sees every single one of them, and there's like 50 different ones. Like, the most one I've ever seen them do on pawn stores, there, there's been a bunch of times when they've done over a million dollars, like three million for a George Washington suit. One million for the card two poppers yeah, shot. Yeah, pawn stars made came out like Ollie. No, I didn't know that. I know they made Chummy look like a, a more dumb than Gibby. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't remember half the stuff on the show. That is funny though. How even Gibby? Uh, how even Chummy thought uh, Gibby was really. What was the last thing to catch on fire when I called it? How the hell would I know that off the top of my head? I know that? it's simple. Oh, uh, the squirrel camera? Yeah. <laughs> it was the first thing he invented, and it didn't catch on fire. It's about to see how it's called he laughed. Mm -hmm. Then it catches on they fire. They had a fire retardant gummy bears. I don't know what, what, um, did he mix fire retardant in with the gummy? With the I don't know. Or something. It's probably did. Bro, there's this video, there's this episode of South Beach show I watched where the, where the chubby does Dispatcher um, ate like a whole large jar of sugar free and gluten free gummy bears, but they made that it made them have the poop. So, Marta caused Luba to get a warrant. Marta, yeah. But when it got blown off, he wanted it so it could be put back on. Yeah, that is logic. It's called a stress work. Oh, it's getting it's bigger. bigger. It's getting bigger. You want to feel it? No, no, I'm a vegetarian. That's neat. Oh, hey. Oh, that's you are in my life! You are in my life! Hey, I'm only halfway through this race. Hey, question. How many cupcakes have you had? Only one. Oh. I've had one, and you know who else has had one. Because three we got. Okay. I only had one. Because I was about to call you a pig for eating no. two already. Someone, someone. Cause thought, you have a history of doing that. When I when I went to get my cupcake, I sat down on the counter and someone thought I was getting a second one. And like he looked at me like he was, like he was dumbfounded. And then he's like, "Oh, I thought you scarfed down one and was having your second one already." It, it was just because I put it down there because I was uh, doing something. What's that swat in my the so is this angry family? So is this gonna be uh, nuclear reactor Godzilla by the end of this? Mm -hmm. <sighs> the daddy was oh. mad at the mommy. The mommy was mad at the daddy. <laughs> Everyone was mad at the grandpa. The grandma was yelling at everybody. <laughs> I was not. Isn't it great? That is pretty funny how, um, uh, who, I forget which one. I, I think it was Jack. No, it was Michael who did it. But he was like, um, but, um, Frank's like, I. Godzilla spotted into the ocean, wrapped up in silk from Michael, Michael, it's your turn. All right, we're going after this. Wait, who said that? Frank said that he, he, was just, <laughs> he was just waiting for Michael to tell a story, and then once the teacher announced it was Michael's turn, Frank was like, "Finally, we're going after we're we're, we're going after this." <laughs> That's the end of the movie. Already? Yeah, it's an hour and seven minutes. 
Wow, only halfway done with this race, which means we can do a bunch of dumb bullshit. Wow, they just went right to that ending after they got to the front of the model. Wow. Is he in a okay, yeah. or is he... Shut up, I need to do the sign up. Out of all five movies so far, this is the best one. It's better than the train wreck that was King Kong vs. Godzilla. <laughs> what the hell happened with Hamlet? Is he, like, screwed? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> One thing I do on that slide, man. We kept going to 50 different topics. That's how I roll. Man, Danny, I feel bad for you. I can't wait for you to be reacting to this last time that you could screw up something. Please, use knives. I'm never getting into that story, trust me. I would legit hit him if I get to that story. See you guys tomorrow when we get. What? Yeah, no. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. When we get introduced to another iconic kaiju. Kaiju. It's a king. Female fashion. It's gonna be shocking. See you guys tomorrow.